protection. We hope to take this, we hope to take as an opportunity to future Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, Renata. Uh, I'm very glad to attend the opening commonly of 2018 Overseas Seminar on Water Source Analysis and the Line of Practice for the Republic of Fiji. First of all, on behalf of the Embassy of the Czech People's Republic of China in the Republic of Fiji, I would like to uh, extend my warm congratulations on the opening of this seminar. I really appreciate that the Water Authority of Fiji and the Ministry of Mineral Resource MRD Department of Water and Sweaty, DWS, and the Ministry of House MOH offered us stronger support. My gratitude, my gratitude also goes to all the relevant of working staff of Power China Juna Engineering Corporation Limited who have a spirit to no know efforts for this moment today. China is the largest developing country in the world. To strengthen and consolidate solidarity and co cooperation with the other developing countries always remains as a firmly strategic choice of Chinese diplomacy of the base equality into all respect and common development, China will full enhance the look to all respect and common development. Strengthened partnership in partnership with the two those South Pacific Island countries including Fiji and the pride activity, active assistance within our capacity. The cooperation in human resource development as comes for a significant component in China foreign aid. At the present, the China government is sharing development experience and uh, Practical techniques to so carry out the human resource development and the cooperation plan to realize common development. In 2017, there were more than 160, uh, 1,600 foreign aid seminars held by Chinese government in 157 countries and organizations across the world. With nearly 40,000 people participating in the training, water is precious resource for human survival. The people's, the Republic of Fiji is endowed with it abundant water resource, which is also a social weather of great value. Nowadays, in Chinese marketing, we often see the Fiji water and the freshness and the beauty of Fiji water have delivered a good image to Chinese people. However, due the seasonal impacting and special constraints. The water resource the water resource distribution in Fiji is not balanced yet. Department of Water and the Storage Mr. Susan Abunia.
Distinguished Glock and the Commercial Casella Mr. Lee Jun. They are all participated in this seminar. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is a great pleasure to be in beautiful Suwa to attend the opening ceremony of the 2008 overseas seminar on water source analysis and the practice for the Republic of Fiji, sponsored by the Ministry of Commerce of People's Republic of China and organized by Paul China Zhongnan. Here, on behalf of the organizer, Paul China Zhongnan, I would like to express my heartfelt thanks to the Ministry of Commerce of the PRC and the Islamic and Commercial Council's Office of the Embassy of the People's Republic of China in the Republic of Fiji for the concern, guidance and the support they have given us. I would also like to express my heartfelt thanks to the government, enterprises and the people of Fiji for their assistance and the cooperation. Fiji enjoy high popularity in China. It is sunshine, beaches, Fiji water, and the enthusiastic Fiji people. All of the beautiful impressions it made to me as soon as I feed seed food in the paradise. On this occasion, I also bring the greetings of Power China to the Fiji people and a sincere desire to work together to create a better life. Power China Zhongna has been connected with the water since its establishment. For nearly 30 years, we have been committed to the protection and the utilization of water resources. We are an internationally advanced engineering company which provide integrated planning, design, construction, investment, and operation service in such fields like uh, energy, electricity, water resources, water environment management, and uh, infrastructure. Dear friends, China's 5,000 years of civilization traces the country's history of water resources management and the progress in engineering technology. Back more than 2,500 years ago, with a total length of 1,794 kilometers, the Beijing Hangzhou Grand Canal is still China's Golden Waterway built more than 2,200 years ago. The Tujiangye irrigation project is still undertaking the plot broadly contrasts the friendly exchange between China and Fiji. And this expanded our technical cooperation and the communication in the field of water resource management and water environmental protection. Finally, I wish this similar complete success and uh, I wish you all a happy life and a success in your study. Thank you. The Economic and Commercial Councillor of the Embassy of the Chinese Embassy in Fiji. Ms. Li Ji, the Director of International Department, Pao China Jiangnan Engineering Corporation Limited, Mr. Yi Pen Penwei, Facilitators of the Training, Pao China Jiangnan Engineering Representatives, Representatives of various government ministries and departments in Fiji, ladies and gentlemen. Jiang Shan Hao, Bulak Naka, and a very good morning to you all. It is my privilege and honor to address you as we gather here this morning and embark on this two weeks training on a bid to improve 
delivery of service and quality drinking water services for all Fijians. I have been informed that this training focuses on improvements in the analysis of water sources as well as laboratory practices in Fiji. I speak on behalf of the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Infrastructure and Transport and would like to convey that we do applaud trainings as such. These types of trainings help us to ex understand, expand and share knowledge on the many proper practices to be undertaken such as working in laboratories and undertaking proper monitoring of efficient and effective delivery of services. It is great to see the government of the People's Republic of China working closely together with the people of Fiji to help improve in this space water source analysis and lab practices. The Fijian government, in its commitment to provide clean and safe drinking water, has invested a lot in the water and wastewater sector. For this financial year alone, government has provided a total budget of 349.3 million to the Water Authority of Fiji. This is an increase of 42.4 million from the previous financial year. A total of 102.8 million has been allocated towards operating costs, while 246.5 million is targeted towards capital expenditure costs. Allow me to explain a little more of government support towards ensuring clean drinking water to the people of Fiji. The government has allocated 3 million for the water catchment management program. This involves surveys of all water catchments, water source management, hydrological and environmental monitoring to capture accurate hydrological data to identify a water source, safe water source. A total of 0.5 million has been allocated for catchment acquisition and boundary surveys. 1.25 million has been allocated for installation of measurement and telemetry equipment to send real-time data water flows to the National Control Center. A total of 0.75 million for water source management and identification of water, safe water sources by capturing of accurate hydrological data through hydrological and environmental monitoring. 0.26 million for environmental investigations and assessment and 0.24 million for safety water quality program. A further 27 million has been allocated for 133 projects in the rural water supply program throughout Fiji for this financial year. This project is expected to benefit about 23,382 people in our rural communities. For wastewater services, an allocation of 18.5 million has been allocated to the Water Authority of Fiji for the upgrading of wastewater treatment plants. We intend to increase capacity and match the works conducted on our sewer line extensions. Another 20.4 million has been allocated for the upgrade and improvement of the wastewater distribution system to cover more areas. Ladies and gentlemen, these are just some of the few allocations by government to the Water Authority of Fiji, and this speaks volumes of government's continued support towards an improved water and sanitation service delivery to all Fijians. Ladies and gentlemen, this training is brought to you under the framework of China's 2018 China Aid Training Program. I'm told that this project is aiming to share the developing experience of China in water source analysis and laboratory practice within Fiji, as well as to explore the industry, engineering, technologies, and to improve management capacity in water resources between the two countries. For the next two weeks, as assigned by the Ministry of Commerce of China, representatives from Power China Jongnan Engineering Corporation Limited will be facilitating this training. My fellow colleagues from Water Authority of Fiji, Ministry of Infrastructure and Transport, Ministry of Health and Medical Services, as well as the Mineral Resources Department. On behalf of the Fijian government, I would like to wish you all the very best for this training. We hope the workshop has value in promoting better practices in your field of work and builds capacity in dealing with water source analysis and laboratory practices in Fiji and China. Share, <coughs> share, thank you, and Mark Bakalio. of both countries, leaders, and the people. The China generated 
Thank you. 